Hello everybody, my name is Tanya and you're on Frag Addiction channel. Today I'd like to tell you everything I think about Elysium Parfum Cologne Pour Homme by Roja Dove. It is the most popular and probably arguably the most famous creation of this house. As for now, 2024, there are two other flankers, um, which actually technically this is a flanker because original costs much more and it was out a long time ago. This one is the most popular. It's actually very remarkable for this brand, for the brand of uh, Roja Dove to have any flankers usually she has uh, he has only one creation and that's it so that became so popular that they decided to make another one last year it is aromatic fougere fragrance for men it was launched in 2017 the top notes are listed lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, artemisia, musk, the heart notes, lily of the valley, rose de mai, jasmine de grasse, apple, black currant, and the base, galbanum, pink pepper, cypriol, vetiver, sandalwood, juniperberry, benzoin, vanilla, lavender, <laughs> A leather, ambergris, and musk. And as you see, it's a whole bunch. It looks like every note is in this fragrance. But in fact, um, all of Roja Dove's creations are usually with humongous list of notes. So this is the same as most of his works has a ton of notes listed, but it doesn't really matter because it smells as a whole distinct creation, a whole aroma. Um, I'd say it's a French style com combination, a very unique profile. If you're talking about Elysium in particular, yes, there are a lot of dupes nowadays because it's so popular and things that are inspired by but nothing from other brands comes close to the originals because of the complexity and the highest quality of the components that uh, he always uses in all of the creations. I'm actually absolutely obsessed with um, the vetiver material that um, particularly Roja Dove uses for the vetiver accord in uh, his arsenal. I love the way he does it in many creations. And for that reason, my favorite of the line, uh, of the Parfum Cologne line is not Elysium, it's vetiver. Although, the vetiver um, oil and like natural ingredient is presented here also. My heart still belongs to this one. <laughs> this is more smoky, dry, masculine, and very super bold. And for me, it is probably the best vetiver of all the fragrances I've ever smelled. On the other hand, Elysium composition is lighter and more mass appealing, more likable, but it still makes a statement in a very elegant way. It doesn't, it still doesn't put, pull my heartstrings as wildly as Vetiver, but this is very, very attractive on a man. On start, this version of Elysium 
is exceptionally bright. As mo most of his brand, um, it captures your total att attention with a ton of spicy, explosive citruses in the best possible way in, in the opening. I actually find the opening of this version better than the opening of the original with the fancy lid. I think this opening is more airy and wakes you up like an alarm clock into the no nostrils. I'm talking about this original version. It was made way before the uh, Parfum cologne, cologne that is now very popular. <sighs> Look at the presentation, so pretty. <laughs> Love it. Ah, I'm gonna show you this way. Look at that. It's on a beautiful silk. So, the opening of Parfum Cologne is uh, sharp in a way, invigorating, but very natural in every aspect. And in some way, this line of Parfum Colognes reminds me of, oh, in a way, of Creed brand. The way the openings, the start notes are done, they're unapologetic and attention grabbing, super attractive and very elegant. And uh, I'm stepping up kind of smoothly into the musical associations with those openings. <sighs> they are for me like vocalizers of, of a professional singers right before the orchestra uh, starts to pick up and accompany songs. Elysium is a traditional orchestral music for me with more brass um, musical instruments, a little strings, smooth baritone voice of the main singer, but it all sounds very edgy, bouncy, very contemporary, upbeat, even some maybe trap beat over there in the, uh, some rap, like maybe that singer is rapping. It sounds like a 21st century song. Those woody notes, lots of pink pepper is making a statement in this fragrance, adding some swish effects with the spice. It is nice and likable a radio hit song for me. And as for usability of Elysium, and in particularly this one, it is absolutely universal. Masculine offering for every age group, elegant and low key at the same time. It can be worn even to the gym. If you can afford it, of course, <laughs> suit and tie ready, work, vacation or a date, every day, every way is a win. And as for me, after the marvelous opening, the start of the fragrance, which by the way lasts um, from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the weather, it is mostly linear with that distinct, very specific aroma that defines Elysium profile. It is fresh and elegant, and I think it has the same ability as Aventus by Creed in the compliment department. With the difference um, that you probably as the wearer can smell all the time. So you can, can definitely smell Elysium for about eight hours straight and it never floats away from you. You know, with problems with Aventus, it has ability to disappear for a while and then you kind of smell a whiff here and there. With Elysium Parfum Cologne, you definitely smell it all the time off yourself. 
maybe in some way it's kind of more distracting sometimes uh, but for us for fragrance lovers i think it's a ma major plus and it perfectly performs in the air of air-conditioned uh, facilities or when it's the weather is moderate to cool maybe in in moderate temperature and high humidity it shows even more layers and notes and you can definitely smell different things from time to time in uh, this version especially in the air in summer heat it's kind of could be presumed a little flat and i have to admit on me personally i was wearing it for actually two days straight and uh, it's kind of flat on me i love it a lot i love it so much in the air off my man but i didn't smell all of the edges and faucets on my body as i usually do in the air from other people on me it rolls into kind of cedar wood oil and vetiver way too quickly and doesn't show its full potential and i guess that's another reason to leave this composition for male audience <laughs> so on men I definitely smell some resins, even vanilla in the base. That fresh jasmine is much more prominent. And guys, tell me your thoughts and comments down below about Elysium and about this line overall. Do you like it? And um, of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're still watching without subscription, come on, come on, go ahead. Join our fan club of fragrance lovers. Love you all. Bye-bye.